Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is December 14th, a Friday, and that means it's another wonderful day for basics. You can see here I am on my Foxy Wondon account, and I think today is another lesson in fighting. That's right, we are not going to be going and adhering to strictly the more passive, simply strengthening our direction of play and shape kind of, and shape kind of basics. But today, we are out to start fights and win them. But we are not going to overplay. Alright, so we are here as Black and the One Don again. I actually just had someone who timed out on me. On like 25 move or something. Kind of weird. But it's okay. 3 4 facing them approaching aggressively. Threatening to do frameworks, things like that. Hmm. I'm going to just back off high and not go into a Chinese. I'll be pin sword this, of course, because I'm settling here. I'm aggressively shoulder hitting this to get fourth line territory. He's responding. I, are pro I respond in kind. Throw him into a heavy shape. And now I'm preventing him from going into my corner. Uh, this way I have ensured that he has gotten a uh, unsettled shape here. And I'm even going to finish the sequence by playing this to strengthen my shape even further, putting maximum pressure on this group. Now, I want to attack that, but the main mistake people make early on is they attack things before they can get anything from them. So we're going to play away. We can't really do anything here. We're adhering to corner side center. Even though we're playing an aggressive game today, we are not going to suddenly abandon uh, basics. Like right now, I want Sente to follow up this move. I could pincer here. That would give me Sente. Um, I could also kick here. That's actually fine, believe it or not. I think I will give up my corner in exchange for this. If he gives me a wall here, that'll help me attack this later on. Maybe a wall here, a flat cap, and then we can grow. Instead, he wants to try to settle here. He doesn't like this idea. Playing a large knight, because I want him to invade my corner. By inviting him to invade my corner here, I get a wall. That wall puts pressure on his group. So you can see how I'm adjusting a few very tiny things for a more aggressive stance. I'm not playing a large knight to be, you know, greedy and trying to take a larger corner, anything dumb like that. I'm playing a larger knight, inviting him to do that, because when I split him, I'm getting a wall here, facing his group. Don't lose Sente. Instead, we come out. Defend your shape. Because, like, there's a poke here. Right, right, right. Same thing here. Don't get surrounded. We're following very, very basic rules. Divide and conquer. Do not let him connect up. Strengthen my group. Because he's hurt my stone. Max pressure, don't back off. Save the important stone, keep him disconnected. Do not let him connect his groups. We played the large knight to bait an invasion in our corner. He took it, gave us strength, and now we're profiting off of that. By the way, these stones are there whenever we want. Here, 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 and there's dual disconnects. Don't give up your cutting stones. We can Atari. And cut through. <laughs> it's fine. I could come out instead as well, since I do have a connect here, but there's no reason to let him push through and cut through here. This is territory. That's a large knight. You know what happens to large knights? Large knights get cut. Always be on the lookout for bad shape that they're making to try to kill to try to attack you. 
If they have bad form, push them off balance. And most importantly, most importantly, do not succumb to bad shape on your own. I think connecting here is okay. Should be fine. He's trying to kill me, which is annoying. Hello? But here's the thing. This is, this is a very huge weak point. Atari. Extend. Atari. Extend. You can see the problem here. Well, only way to find out, right? Only way to find out. Connecting here, threatening to cut through and max my liberties. Then we'll see if his overly large shape here can save him. There's the cut, threaten a connection. I don't think he can do both of them. He can't do this one. And this one at the same time. So we should be shape. We should be uh, fine. He can tarry here. Then we play here. And that threatens a cut. And a cut. Then his bad shape is revealed. Right? If he connects, we'll poke him. He'll connect. We'll get rid of this. He has to give me the three stones now, because after I play here and play here, he's only has two liberties. He has to take his, uh... He has to take the stone to save us two. Shape was too soft. Shape was too soft. He couldn't hold this. He bet everything on killing these these stones. Atari. Hmm. Sente. He Atari's, we Atari him back. He Hane's, I Hane back. So we have Sente. He has a, a cutting point. But first, I'm going to follow up. Don't attack to the exclusion of all else. Follow up, take your large points. This is going to give me more moves in the middle. It's going to aid my attack in a minute. Let's see where this goes. I can extend out because this doesn't go anywhere. And I'm threatening to high ahead of his stones. High ahead of his stones, like I mentioned previously. Same. All right. Now I'm going to play one last defensive move before we cut him. Because even though he doesn't protect his groups... We do. Just because he doesn't protect his cutting points doesn't mean we answer with the same thing. Defended. You could play if you were really trying to kill him, but you probably can't at this point. There's no reason to do so. This group here isn't the one that's uh, most in trouble. We can also play here technically if we want to try to like do something there. But we're probably again not going to do that. Alright, once again, he has not defended himself. We gave him every opportunity to do so, now we cut him.
And a lot of these uh, little defensive moves are really, really, really um, uh, hard to find and hard to play in your own games. Like, ooh, if I defend there, what happens if he defends? Who cares? Does it matter if he does it matter? If he defends himself, then he's taking a large point. No problem. Poke. Don't let him hide ahead of your stones. I have actively chosen to surround him, and that's surrounding him is what I'm going to do. Attacking does not mean killing. Attacking means profit, so I will offer him a treaty. Take that stone and live, or I will save it and kill you. Again, offering the same thing. Okay. Now, I mentioned previously, these stones were ours. We'll take them in the exchange while he's struggling to live. This is a good time to profit. This is the perfect time to go back and kill these stones. These stones over here. While the whole thing's trying to live. Okay, that was uh, not smart. That is what we call an overplay. Go table it up. Trying to save everything was greedy. Need to be willing to let go what you can't defend. Otherwise, um, your losses just keep piling up exponentially. I'll connect up my group, make sure I don't have to go back and get into some weird liberty race here. Because again, we don't overplay. Right? They do, we don't. They overplay. We do not. We defend. We watch them overplay. And then we kill them. Those of you who do not want to be fighters, of course, can, you can dismiss this. You can keep going with your corner side center. Large move, basic shapes, things like that. You don't have to get into aggressive uh, games if you don't want to. That's completely fine. Those of you who are a little bit more like me... And appreciate uh, a good bloodletting every once in a while. This is how we do it without becoming like them. You can drop down and connect. Okay. That's fine too. Three liberties on this group. Defend the cutting point in Sente. Doesn't let me play here. Why is it Sente? Because he doesn't let me get his entire uh, thing away, right? So I probably play something over in here. But now he has horrifyingly bad shape. Cut, cut, poke, attach. Is this really even alive? Look at all those cutting. Look at all those. Look at all those points that weren't defended. That's not. That there's no way that that's solid. Right? Largest move on the board, you can play here. For those of you who want to play, you know, not aggressive. I'll tell you, that's large one. That's pretty large for that. Uh, those of you who do wish to play more aggressively, I'm going to attach to him here. And try and see if I can squeeze out the problem with not protecting your cutting points. That's not an Atari. He has three liberties now. I have more. That is now threatening to kill his everything. You see the weakness now laid bare. And just like that, I will give him... I actually have Sensei, technically. <laughs> Whatever, I'll play here. I'll give him Sensei back. 
Now, here's the thing with how he played here. Even this move in of itself is aggressive. What? Where are you going with this? This is overplay, yo. Horribly overplay. He like just dove head first into my area. This entire thing's connected. So the sheer amount of liberties he needs to try to kill it is just staggering, really. Atari. Um, here I guess, huh? Can I throw everything up? Protecting both my cutting points simultaneously. Because he wants to Hane here and then try to cut something. Connected. This is enough room to live. If he Hane's drop down, don't do this, then he can go. Just like so. And that's two eyes. Even if it wasn't, one, two, three, four liberties versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we had twice as much. We could have theoretically maybe even ignored that move and he wouldn't be able to touch us. So this game's done. Some of you will find it distasteful because we were more aggressive and we killed things. And I'm sorry about that. But, 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 I'm going to be playing a couple of games this week, maybe even next week too, showing how you adhere to basics while still playing aggressive. I know not everybody wants to play, you know, passive games where you, like, take some territory. You end up building a middle because they don't ever go in there. Uh, don't like it when you always, like, leave your opponent's weaknesses to themselves. They like, can just, like, don't ever get called on and that kind of thing. So, you know. This is for y'all. Next cutting point that was not taken... Uh, into consideration, properly defended, is this one. He's going to lose these stones or those stones. Again, we counted one, two, three, four liberties. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, la, la, lots, 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 tons, many. So we, we're good. We're good with that. We can go back and capture this if we need to. Take this clear. And I'm probably going to cut him off. Ooh, he's worried about dying. Mm. He ought to be. <laughs> Kidding. Um, uh, end game. End game. All that's left is end game. Can't Hani let the Atari coming through. Don't let him cut through you. It doesn't make sense. Don't let him do that either. It doesn't make sense. Just net him. Just net him. And that... As they, sh as they say, should be the end of that. He actually thought about that one for a minute there and still extended out. He has trouble counting liberties, it would appear. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. It happens. It happens. Technically, 
I could Atari here, extend, Atari here, extend, clamp, and it's all dead again. So there's two ways of doing that. Um, deal. Will he poke it? He should. Dang, nice. That one's good. That one was good. Prevent me from getting the eye. Mm, I like that one a lot. That one's good. That one's good. Going after some liberties here. Or oh, some endgame, sorry. Okay. This is still dead. Nothing worried about there. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, I admit, my man, I gotta, like, you know, play some moves, right? I, I will. It's cool. You got me on that one. I have to go back and, like, make sure you can't take out my liberties here and, like, fill out all these and capture me. But all I have to do is, like, play here, he plays here, I play here. And then... I guess I could... Or screw it. I, I'll just play here flat out. He'll play that. That's fine. Or I can play here. I play here and then Hane there. And then he can't do that. So I guess that's a thing I could do, I suppose. Do I really need to do it that way, though? Is this which, which one's easier? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, I'll do it. I'll play here. Let's see if he does play here. I want to know. Mm, excuse me. Will he play this move? All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, sorry, there, 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 there. Uh -huh. So I need to play this one, lap. And if you ever plays here, I just play this one. Okay, we're good. So I play one more move, right? Mm okay. But dun 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 dun. This move could also been played here just as easily. If he Atari's, I Atari. <laughs> or I just connect. Whichever. Probably Atari. Seems good. <clears throat> um, okay, I'll connect. I mean, these three stones are dead, and there's, like, a tremendous amount of room here. So this is never going to live. Make sure my eye is nice and solid. Same. If he throws in here, don't play here, because there could be um, a thing. Take place here, I'll play here. No, I'll play here, sorry. Here, here, here. That way he can't Atari and get rid of that eye. Um, Sente, I guess. And then I'll just give it back to him, I suppose. Sente's yours, my dude. Sente is all yours. So for his territory, he has the corner that he stole from me. Um... So he has a corner that he stole from me. And then, like, some stuff in there. Let's go ahead and take that stone. Like so. Still trying to kill me. That's all I have to play. He can't play here and here before I Atari him. Alright, here's Zined. 
Uh, I don't want to play gun, thank you. Let's go ahead and review. Let's go ahead and review. So how did this uh, game take place? Well, we approached him and he kicked me and we backed off. N even though we were looking for a playing like an aggressive game, we didn't immediately jump into his 3-3 three, three, or do weird attachments and stuff like that. We're, we just play, you know, those were basics come in. Make sure we don't uh, compromise our opening or other parts of our game just because we want to fight. We pin through here just to give this a sense of enclosure. You can just as easily kick this if you want. Whoops. Kicking is also fine. You just play this way instead, and then they do whatever. That's that's completely a okay. Pentax does feel a little bit more aggressive. Shoulder it for some territory. Respond to his attachments. Deny his base. This, however, was the first thing to really take note of. I didn't like respond here, right? I took a larger move because this doesn't really matter. I mean, if he really wants to get into a co over this, that's okay. I don't mind that at all. Corner side center again. Same thing here. That was an aggressive decision, playing the large knight. Not because we want more territory, not because we really even want to build a large framework, but because we're trying to goad him into going to our corner to get rid of the 3-3. That's why we don't play the large knight anymore, because it's vulnerable to heavily, heavily vulnerable to the 3-3. But we were ready for the outside, for a splitting attack. So we goaded him into it. He took the bait, we protected our shape, and came out. That's another thing to think to take a note of. I didn't be like, ha 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 ha, I'm trying to kill you now, because he'll be like, ah, uh, buddy, ditto, ditto, my dude. Because then I'd be like, am I alive? I don't know, right? Strength first. Got our strength first. And as soon as we got Sente, kept attacking. This, however, was problematic. But we're good. Use Sente to take large points. Defend ourselves when we, when we have cutting points. Same thing here. We're not abandoning our stones. We're not taking very big risks. We're just looking to see where the next... Or, or we're defending ourselves, we're being solid, and then we're attacking once we have Sente. After we match nice and strong. And from there, we get a very successful result. Right? And we can do all this because we didn't compromise our shape. If we had compromised our shape, we couldn't do any of this. But we didn't. And he was. So when we had Sente, we had a plethora of things to choose from. And he had nothing. That makes sense? Is this all making sense? Let's play again. Alright. We are... Oh, and a 533. Ugh. But we are, again, in a um, one-done game. I will approach high. He attaches to me. Okay, Jiseki, Jiseki, Jiseki. So far, so good. Um, technically, I don't need to respond to that, but I'll cap him. I will respond. See if he respond. Ooh, he's gonna respond properly. Okay, got ourselves a, a very noble match here so far. Hmm. All right. Slight slow move here. I'll prevent the extension. Going up into the middle. We're looking for something to do a fight. But these moves do not tell us that we can fight anything yet. So we just bide our time. Keep that strength up. Essentially a fight's coming. We're going to be ready for it. But we're not going to overstep to create it. You can see here, he's a weak group. I am taking liberties with this. But I am not 
um, overplaying. I am defending. I think I can kill all this if he comes in. Ooh. This guy's... This guy's got some moves on him. He's, like, trying to, like, listen to... To sector lines and stuff? Hmm. This guy is very careful. This guy is very careful. Have you been a two down before? Have you been a two down before? No, he hasn't been a two down before. He has been a two down before. Okay, this month, in fact. So he's working on, you know, he's trying to be a little bit more careful. I think he's learning long, the wrong lesson. I think he's a player that has had very, very big problems fighting. And now he's being overly cautious. He's lost that, uh... He's lost that thing, you know? That fearlessness that gets you to improve your game. He's cutting through. Is this the fight? Cutting your threats to push through and... Ooh, bad shape! Bad shape. We take advantage of it today. He fixed. I'll fix as well. He fixed, I fixed. Guess we're just developing. Hmm. Part of me wants to fight him. And kill him. You can see that I poked him heavy. If he doesn't connect, we'll go after him. Like I said, we don't overplay. I made, like, all of the preparations. All right. Time to go after him. He didn't connect up. He owed me moves. He's heavy as heck. No. Connect up. Now they go after him. Make him heavy. I have... Same thing here. Surround him. Reinforce my attack on him. He has no eyes. Zero. Okay. This is fine. Honey, extend. He's got one eye. Tari, get rid of that shape. Connect. We're develop. We're developing the corner. By the way, you can see how we're reinforcing this area. So while we're attacking, we're getting a huge freaking corner. I neglected to mention that. Sorry. Kind of happened fast. Nowhere. Okay. Dropping down. On it. He's looking for his eyes. Looking for them eyes. Okay. 
Looking for the mines. Still looking for the mines. Where are the mines at? Where are them beautiful little peepers? Meanwhile, he's got this corner and this corner. Okay, that's a cutting point. Sure, sure, sure. I think this one's better for end game, right? Should we think about end game? Mm, fine, I'll do this one. I'll do this one. Da -na 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 -na. Falsify that. Most you can do is play here now. Or this one. We'll poke it out. No, thank you. Now that is a big freaking corner. We can poke here. That technically is all we need. Poke at his shape point. Threaten to cut through. He needed to play here. Drop down if he plays here, we'll false it. He's gonna probably bamboo. We'll retreat to here, safe, nice safe connection. He's gonna play here next, we're gonna false him. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Uh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll just deny the tiger mouth. Maybe the tiger mouth could be an eye at some point, somehow. Maybe? I don't know. But since we're alive on this side, we're good. False that. All you can do is extend out, then we jump, we're good. We have simple connections to living groups every bloody where. Now we're alive. He pushes, drop back, don't honey. Creates uh, cutting points. Now we're good. If he cuts, it goes nowhere, so bamboo. Because the cut could go into like an attack. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? I guess it's fine regardless. If you place here, we'll bamboo. So the whole group's dead. Has uh, one eye. I offered him a chance to connect back. He didn't connect back. We informed him we were just connecting him. And then instead of, like, bailing and getting his eyes and, like, going to safety, he, like, went in. He just went deeper and deeper. Protect cutting point. Here, here, here. That's fine. He drops down. We play here. He plays this one. We play here. He plays here. We Atari him. Connect. He can cut us off. We're going to take the uh, star point. Because it defends both simultaneously. That's fine too. If he goes here, we can drop down. If he plays here, we can Atari. And he resigns. Okay, so let's review that game. Let's review that game, shall we? Now, that was very, very aggressive. That was maximum aggression. Aggression. Last game, we kind of did little fights. We did little fights. We kind of, like, eased into attack. Here, this was an all-or-nothing fight. So let's go and review that all-or-nothing fight again real quick. Uh, we took a center... We took a bit of a center stance here. And to be fair, he he did he did well. This is good. This is good. But this is too it's too passive. He's like play over here or split or just do anything else. Corner, side, center. This is technically a corner, but this is keep in mind. This is corner, 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 side, center. It's like wait, one four that many stones like for one corner? I don't know about that. That's that ain't so good. If you want to play aggressive middle game, you could shoulder hit here and play something like this one. And go to the center. If you wanted to play like an aggressive center oriented strategy. Here we are playing an aggressive I want to kill you strategy. Or at least get into fights. But we took that away. We went up to the middle to connect. Got like a little bit of connection there. Developed right hand side. He pressed the right corner. 
we played this one instead of this one because here, you know, you can do this and like later on you do like this and this and this and then maybe this. And it's, it's okay, but if I play here, he has to come in, right? And I'm already defended, so this is, this is a tough position to handle for white because it's hard to live locally and then you're out, your right hand side is getting hurt too. So we took, we did that only because we have this, right? If we didn't have this, we'd back off. But we were already strong here, so we went for more. The stronger you are, the more you can go for. Kind of like a very simple example of that is, let's say you have a wall, two space wall, right? So from this, you're pretty strong, so you can go, you can you can, send, blah, 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 blah. you can extend here, or you can go proverb, right? One, two, plus one. One, two, plus one. Right? Cool, cool, excellent, sweet. You can even go here. One, two, three. Bam. If you're here, you can go like one, two, three, plus one. Sweet, we can go here. The other stone, stupid. We extend there, because the stronger we are, the more we can get. We wouldn't want to be like, okay, I got two stone wall, I'm going to extend uh, here. It's like, are you really, son? Because I can pincer that if, you know, there's uh, some kind of strong position here, right? We can We can attack that. But the stronger you are, the more you can get. So, cool. We played there. Same thing if he invades now. Two space ascension, not alive yet. This stone needs help too. So we're good. He defended himself. We attached to him to secure this because he's, he's getting life now. So we want to kind of shore up that hole that we had there. Then he tapped it. But now he's got a weak group, and that's the first mistake. If I was playing a really aggressive game right now, I could hit this. Then what? I don't know. But we're doing corner side center first. We're not abandoning our basics. So we have a strong position. We have territory, territory. And from an even game, he has weaknesses. I can attack him from an even position to make my position even better than it was previously. So passive. Oh, so passive. Bad shape, too. That's actually impressive because my very, very next move was going to be there. My very next move was going to be that one. It's pretty good. But I connect up, and he needs to do the same thing right bloody now. But he didn't. I made him heavy. Now, time to connect up. Maybe even try and do it in Sente, right? Maybe even try to cut up in Sente. You know, not bad. But he didn't. So that meant dead. We could also cut through here very grossly. Because there's nothing he can really do here. He can't save these stones simultaneously. So a minor... Um, something I would have done last game, doing minor fights, is I would have like poked at that one poke at the small knight because there's like two and we can profit here and that's you know a very minor fight we can take to get a uh, pretty good position here i want to go for a larger fight we're feeling like bold so make him heavy make him heavy defend our stones this admittedly may have should have been played here i admit that, that would have been better so minor mistake for me give him an eye that's cool falsify the two eyes put it back into one See how he's going to try to live. Falsify. Don't let him come in. And then from here he had to play this one. Because all I could really do is play this way, but I think it still kills him. So it's tough. It's really tough. And we can play this way because we made ourselves strong. If we had like a bunch of weak groups on the board, we couldn't poke at this crap. There'd be too much Aji work against. We'd never be able to kill this if we if we didn't have strong shapes. If we haven't been like paying utmost attention to ourselves, paying utmost attention to our shape, we could never try to dream of killing this. Because the theology would destroy us. The minute we started like playing new stones to poke out his shape, we'd crumble instantly. But here, we constantly made weak shape, or not weak shape, sorry. We constantly guarded against weak shape. So when he attacked us, he had nowhere to go. He had nothing to work against. 
So just like that, he died. Hope you enjoyed today's, um, I would say, fighting basics. Held back not quite as much as usual. And we had a nice focus on attacking. Showing how basics go into attacking. How we don't just abandon them magically because we want to fight. And had to handle some complicated uh, situations. Hope you enjoyed the series. As always, see you next time. Take care, everybody.